the Riverlands, home to the Ayla humans, and one of the larger biomes in Ashes of Creation. This zone is probably the only zone in the game that we know a large amount of information about, and within this region is where you will find the divine gateway for both the human races, the Kalar and the Veiloon. But according to the old map, the Veiloon will leave this portal and head towards the desert for their starting zone, while the Kalar will hang out in the Riverlands. This portal is where you will begin your adventures in Vera as a human race, which technically you could do this with any race. It's not race locked, but this is the human starting zone. So if you're a dwarf and you want to start in the human city, well then go for it. You can start wherever you want, no matter what race you pick in the beginning, helping you really stick with your friends. When you step through the gateway, you will find yourself within the ruins of the once capital city of the Aelin humans known as Ayla. This city, as you can see on the map, sits right on the ocean and has a big aquatic take on it with waterfalls flowing down from the dams, holding back the rivers behind it with a decent sized harbor for ships, making it a pretty strong trade city, but you know, it's ruins now, so you probably won't see it quite as fancy as it once was. When the fall of era had begun, a mage by the name of Loria Lamont heeded advice from an unknown origin, using desperate and dark acts to try to save the city of Ayla from destruction within the Tower of Carfin University. These dark acts included a sacrifice of a man named Beric Pulsifer, and the ritual resulted in the mass killing of Carfin residents as they return as the undead. Not only that, but because the Tower of Carfin sat on the river, some some of that dark magic trickled out through the riverlands, causing undead to begin to form around those rivers, which is the result of what happened in those cemetery zones we see on the edge of the riverlands near the Redwood Forest. Depending on the story arcs that develop within the city of Ayla when you start out, you could be seeing some goblin slavers come in and try to subdue and cage players, which will result in mini games that you'll be able to take part in to try and get out of your cage. Within the wreckage of Carfin, you will find a massive dungeon for players to take on that has multiple floors to it. This is called the Tower of Carfin. This tower can be seen lingering in the background of some Riverlands footage as Steven enters the border to the ruins of Carfin. Within these ruins, you'll find yourself up against some graveyard golems, guard drudgers, skinwalkers, Terragor raincallers, Terragor warhorns, zombies, and zombie scholars. The Minotaurs will also have a bit of interesting history behind them as prior to the fall of Vera, they were a nomadic race that really benefited when the players left the world of Sanctus. During the time since, they've gotten much stronger, much more organized, and more equipped, ready to take their revenge on the returning players. They also have some big hatred towards the Dunir Dwarves, but the reasoning behind this is currently unknown. For the Riverlands itself, though, you will find various ruins scattered throughout the lands of the once great human civilization, some of which may even have some secrets hidden within. You will also have a traditional season cycle here, as you can expect spring, summer, fall, and winter. Each season bringing various challenges, whether that be having different resources to unlock, access to areas that may close in certain seasons, or creatures changing due to the incoming snowfall. Season change in the Riverlands won't be instant as you will know a season is about to end and a new one begin as the world will slowly start to change. The rivers flowing through the zone will allow for some naval content and they even link to the ocean and could be great for establishing some naval caravan trade routes with particular nodes. For creatures to fight, we know there will be dragons, purgles, some foxes of the pyre, bears, undead, minotaurs, rock golem type guys to fight, deer, and many, many more, giving you a wide variety of enemies to take on throughout your adventures. Throughout the last year, we've seen a ton of gameplay surrounding this zone, but it's hard to tell how much has actually been revealed. We haven't seen anything on the starting zone yet, but we do know that there will be various biomes within the Riverlands, such as the Alpine Forest region, closer north towards the Redwood Forest, which have these giant trees that may need multiple people to harvest when crafting. But some of what we have seen are vast fields in ruins and some lakeside beach areas. It's also unknown if this volcanic region over here to the west is part of the Riverlands or its own zone, as there's a much larger volcanic region on the other side of the map now. Which zone are you most excited to see in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in all the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.